What's your uh, baseball philosophy or pitching philosophy? What got you so far? Just uh, being a left-handed strike thrower. That's kind of what my college coach told me I needed to be my identity. Um, and he said, if you know, if you do that, you'll you'll keep having success. So I tried to keep it as simple as I can. Now, do you pitch to your strength or a batter's weakness? My strength every time. I, I hate over scouting reports and having to throw to what the you know the hitters can't hit because sometimes that pitch might not be on for me that day. Sometimes I don't even have that pitch and it's just useless to try to do something that I'm not used to doing. Uh, so, found if I stick with my strength, um, I tend to have you know success most of the time. So don't strike now, some first-round draft picks, of course, they go to the major leagues, but there are first-round draft picks get passed up by guys in the 50th round once they start their, mm -hmm. starting their career. Why is that? Uh, I mean, it's a business, so those high-round picks, you know, they have a lot of money invested in them. So, I mean, the way it works is the higher-round pick you are, the more opportunities you get, um, which is hard for a low-round pick. If you don't get many opportunities, it's hard to succeed, but, you know, on, on occasion, some you have to make the most of those opportunities early. You know when you get them in your first, you know, year at A ball or Double A or whatever. Um, and once you prove yourself at that level and get to Double A AA or Triple A, you're on this, you're on level playing field with all those guys um, in the first round. I'd say the biggest difference is yeah, just making it up to Double A AA or Triple A. Um, and then it's like they're going to take the best guy available rather than the one they have the most money. So. Especially in spring training, they bring in guys to compete for their spot. So when you show up, there may be 10 guys in the mound or something. How do you approach that? I mean, you take care of your own. That's, I mean, that's a good thing I learned in college, too, is just depth brings out the best in everyone, you know. The comp competition's a good thing, you know. If, if you feel like your job's secure and you don't have much to play for, you know, you might not come into spring training in the best shape. You're not, you might not throw the best in spring. Um, so, you know, the more the more guys they bring in, um, the more competitive, you know, you need to be to, to earn your spot. And, um, it sucks sometimes because you want to feel like you earned your spot based on the last year, the last couple of years. But um, if you get over that mentally, you know, it actually, and look back, looking back on it, it's been the best thing for me, college through now, you know, just having to, having to work hard and, um, and, and throw well to kind of get my spot over you. Has there been a time yet you wanted to quit baseball? No, nope, not yet. No, I'm doing all right. I mean, and I, I feel very confident that when that time comes, I will have a clear head about it. Um, and I'm pretty confident of a future um, beyond baseball. Um, but yeah, not yet. I'm enjoying it. Now, do you read what Sports Illustrated or Baseball America where they rank you? Do you read all no, stuff? no, I don't. I, I try. I mean, because they're your best friend when you're doing well, but then you have a bad year or a bad half a season or something, and they're going to just bury you. So it's. Uh, it's useless, you know. I, I can't. I can't imagine what guys in New York and stuff do when they just get crushed for having a bad game, let alone a bad season. So, it's just dumb to to, to kind of get into the media hype and stuff. Or even I tell my family and stuff. Just you know, don't tell me. I don't don't talk about baseball in the off season really, and just try to live a normal life. What would you tell a high school kid about professional baseball? You had to learn the hard way that nobody told you about. Um, I mean, it's cliche, but it's a grind. I mean, you don't. I guess you don't realize playing every day, coming to the yard every day, how hard that is mentally. Um, especially, I mean, I'm coming from a pitcher perspective, it's it's hard only pitching once every five days. Um, those other four days kind of tend to drag, drag a little bit, but um, I, I, I imagine, you know, position players are the same as far as they have to play every day. Um, so, I don't know, just say, just to, to mentally dial in for a long season, you know, and, and be ready for it, and be ready for um, feeling feeling, you know, tired or, or whatever, not into it that day because it just comes with the territory. Anything else about baseball I didn't cover that you want to tell somebody? Um, you know, just being aggressive, I think. My, my bad games are when I'm not aggressive, when I'm worried about X or Y, you know, just not not focused in. When, I, when I'm aggressive and just uh, feel like I'm going out to get get the hitters out um, rather than hoping that I'm going to throw a strike, you know, those tend to be the better ones. And I imagine hitters the same way when they relax. And, and kind of um, not worrying or pressing, that's, that's when they have good, good games for. Well. Uh,